Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms XF. Today we're going to be fighting Rupert. Uh, let's go over my party for just a minute. I have Clarissa as an excavator, basically for the movement. She's not really going to be doing much in this battle, so I stuck her as an excavator. Um, I then have Labyrinthia as an elementalist with her Arcanist original abilities as well. Um, moving right along, I have Fantasticas, two Fantasticas right here, these two guys. Um, but they also have Elementalist, um, original abilities, and I have right here my Geomancer, because I pretty much just want to show off the job class, and it can be useful in this battle. And then finally, this guy's a Fantastica, or not a Fantastica, no, this guy's an Elementalist with Fantastica abilities. So, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Okay, first things first, uh, we want to move Clarissa as far over here as we possibly can. One, because the failure ability is if Clarissa falls, you're screwed. But then secondly, because there's a treasure over there that I want to get. So keep on moving and grooving. Um, with the Fantasticas, we're going to get them up on the cliff because they have, a, they have a, uh, a pretty big movement radius. So I want to get them moving so we can kill as quickly as possible. Uh, the Elementalist, the poor little deer, doesn't really have much of a movement radius, so he's just kind of there. Um, we only have to kill half of the fighters in this uh, map. We only have to kill four out of the eight guys. So it's pretty easy. Um, it's not, you know, anything difficult to do, but, you know, it's something to keep in mind that we only have to kill four so we might as well just kill the easiest four and let's get labyrinthia going over there labyrinthia is going to be our main damage dealer here now clarissa's job is to go all the way over here and then all the way over here to get this treasure chest so that's why i'm having her move and you want to make sure that uh you don't kill the guys before labyrinthia gets that treasure chest and now if you notice with my geomancer Whenever he moves, these little lay points pop up here. This earth lay point, there's one over here, and then over here there's a wind lay point. And those come in handy for the Geomancer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him over here, and then he has something called Translate, which allows you to warp between lay points. So I can move him here to warp him over here, which I'm going to be doing in a minute. But you can also replace, which switches the, uh, the positions of units. You can shut out, which locks the hex and lay spread which makes every spot the same lay point that he's standing on so it would basically if he's standing here it would make all the different hexes into an earth um into an earth hex so anyway i'm gonna move him over here there we go so that's a quick way to do that and those gems down there these guys right here that you see right there um those gems what they are there for is if you um if you hit those gems, or if you stand on those gems, really is what I want to say. If you stand on those gems, they will restore your MP. So that can be pretty handy, but for the most part, completely ignore them because they're kind of useless. Um, your MP is restored after battles anyway, so it really doesn't make that big of a difference. But, you know, it's there. It's something. Let's get all of our mages rushed so that they can move and attack at the same time. Okay, excellent. And there we go. Now, these guys up there, they're just going to hang around. They don't really don't do much of anything. They're just kind of chill. They're just kind of useless, I've got to say. Until we get closer to them, then they'll actually start moving and attacking. You would think that they would want to go after you, but they really don't. I mean, he only went after that guy because he's right there. But I'm going to move him just one space back. And, oh, you know what? I can't move him one space back because he's not rushed. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut out this hex to lock him in there so that he can't hurt my mages. And hopefully Labyrinthia can blast him. Let's see. Can you get to him? Can you get to him? Can you get to him? I can! Yeah! Look at that damage. Vortex. 178 damage. It's amazing! And let's see. Go ahead and get him over here. And can you finish him off? That would be lovely. I can! Perfect! Okay, so one down, three to go. This is pretty much all we're doing the entire map, is shutting them out so they can't bother the mages, and then the mages are exploiting elemental weaknesses, and, you know, that's it. It's not rocket science, but again, make sure that you get uh, Clarissa to that treasure chest as soon as humanly possible. Rupert has 600 HP, and he only has 200-something MP. 
So if you wanted to kill Rupert, I don't know why you would want to, but hey, whatever, it's your game. If you want to kill him, um, an easy way to do that would just be to um, use, I want to say, where is it? Is it replace? Oh, you know what? It's, it's, it's actually an excavator ability, and I'll show it to you from, uh, from Clarissa later. Just have him wait right here. He's fine. Um, let's see. Go over here. Whatever. It's Clarissa's turn. I'll show you the ability, because what it does is it actually switches your... or It switches an enemy's HP and MP. So instead of draining 600 HP, you'd only have to drain 200 MP. Be, or 200 HP because he only has 200 MP and you just kind of switch those values around and that's pretty nice let's rush Labyrinthia again yeah because I need to get her closer to where the uh, closer where the action is and let's see since you're close can I no I can't rush you can I rush you you're already rushed okay so chill out there you're fine this is what I was talking about it is the switch yeah that turns gems into gem blocks, which is what we already saw there, which recovers your MP. But when it used on a unit, it exchanges the target's HP and MP. So that can be a pretty strategic thing to do. Um, I'm not going to do it this battle, but I might do it later on. Uh, can I hit the chest? I can. Perfect. Yeah, I get the flail. Awesome. And now that I've done that, I can go ahead and kill some more little bastards. Oh, I can't, I can't get to you. Can I get can I get to you if I'm up here? Is that close enough? No, it's not. So, let's see, we moved. So I'm gonna warp a little bit further in. There we go, yeah, way on in there. Now she can deal some real damage now that she's this close. And again, because I have um, Clarissa way down there, Rupert's not gonna bother her. So that's pretty nice. Let's shut out this hex so he can't attack Labyrinthia. Awesome. There we go. And, yeah, let's just waste more time. Go over here. Are you rushed? No, of course not. God forbid anybody useful be rushed. That would just be too much to ask. So hang out there. You're done. I don't want you to do anything else. I don't want you to waste any time, Clarissa. Just hang out down there. And then they're going to start buffing each other. God knows why. But, hey, whatever. I don't even think my Elementalist or this last Fantastic is going to be able to do much of anything, to be quite honest with you, but, eh, we'll see. Let's see, let's go ahead and rush. You're already rushed. You can't be rushed. Okay, yeah. Hang out. You're good. Okay, I don't care in the slightest, because my Geomancer is not dealing any damage. All he's doing is I'll shutting out. The only person who's dealing damage are my wizards! to blast the ever loving shit out of these people. Let's see, this Fantastica, I think it's Fire 99. Ooh, 129, yeah, let's do that, awesome. So I wanna crush him, and let's see, we'll go ahead and crush you again. That'll kill you, awesome. So I think that's two down. We only have a couple more to go, yeah. This is why, I mean, I could have made these Fantastic as Elementalists, but as you can see, if I did do that, um, it would just make this such a longer battle than it needs to be. At least my Fantasticas can get in on the action because they have a, um, a much wider move radius. I think that their move is four, whereas the move of an Elementalist is only two. So, it basically gets them to the action twice as fast as an Elementalist. So that's pretty nice. Let's see, can we attack you? Um, yeah, why not? Just attack them. Whatever. You're fine. Because all you need to do is kill two more, and then we're done. And these guys are just bullshitting around. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, crush you? Let's see. Uh, I think that's Vortex, I'm pretty sure. 61, 61... 83. Okay, yeah, so crush. That's what I want. There we go. Yeah, you're done. You're not doing anything. Um, you. Let's see. Vortex. Can I kill... No, I don't want to kill you. I want to kill you. Perfect! Okay, so that's number three. Done. And hopefully you can just kill this guy. Yeah, number four. Awesome. Easy enough! Ooh, got a fire gem. Nice. 
for CSP over here. We can look and through and see what we've all learned. So there you go. Let's get out of here. Damn it. Didn't expect things to get this out of hand. Guess I'll have to figure out some kind of excuse for this waste. You're running away! Don't worry your little head, princess. I don't know whether you're real or not. But either way, I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again before too long. Hope you're looking forever to it. I know I am. See ya! Well, those who run away live to fight another day, I guess. I see. So Rupert's working for Eliseus, and commanding the Marshal Guard, no less. It looks like that's why the Council sent for him. Levin, about before. Do it, Phileas! I just... I wanted to be the sort of man that could protect the princess. So I... Smack him! Yeah! Bam! I... You put your family in danger. Do you understand that? I know that! I know! That's why I tried to protect her! You don't understand at all. I... I just... I just can't stop thinking about how much fun this is going to be. Rupert. Sir. Hey, Castle Rat. Pettigrew? Is that you? Hey, you still kicking? Thought for sure you got yourself killed back there. My wounds aren't that serious. It was just... It was my first real battle, and the enemy caught me by surprise. Please, help me, sir. My body will heal, but I can't bear to think of the wrong that I've... perpetrated. Please, sir, if you don't help me out here, I don't know that I can... Yikes. What are you doing, sir? I don't have a lot of free time on my hands, and that just sounds like a hassle. But you wouldn't. Could have sworn I told you. You come to rely on others, and your life on Fogaila will be a short one. I guess the thunder drowned out a scream. It's an important lesson, but the tuition ain't cheap. Uh, sure. We'll go ahead and save. And uh, next time on Let's Play Wild Arms XF... We will head into the next area of the Starlight Path. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.